I'm a, I'm a father of four, and I still play online games, sometimes with my son, a lot of times with my friends. or my. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the online golf simulator world. We have a sit-down interview with Rim Lau. He's an online streamer who will also host his own tournaments. We'll talk more about that. He joins the show. We'll also visit with a good friend of mine and TJ Fontenot. Stay tuned. We have a good show. Here's some clips from my sit-down with a good friend of mine, TJ Fontenot. Um, what's its impact, I guess, on the game of golf, in your opinion? I guarantee you some of the the pros are using, especially now, the way, the way all the feedback is. They're changing little things in their swing that maybe we don't notice. But at a pro level, you know, they, they know the little tiny ins and outs of everything or all the different types of shots. They're 10 to 15 years is going to be better than... It's all, it always improves, but to swing, you know, like when Tiger, this is kind of going way back, but when Tiger was younger, he was swinging, you know, mostly back and he ended up hurting his back. But now with the way people, uh, they're swinging, it's a lot more rotational swing, you know, more of a natural because they're, they're just letting that club whip through. Will we see AI move into golf? Yep, it definitely will. And same thing with uh, the golf simulators and stuff like that. With the camera set up in the back where you can see your club head, it's giving you instant feedback. It's going to, you know, start changing the way people swing. You're going to, I guarantee you in the next however many years, it's going to start changing the way people swing because now you're getting instant feedback to where some of the things you maybe were taught not to do might give you more power. And then once you control it, you know, it's, it's just the instant feedback and all the the, the metrics and stuff that it spits back at uh, at you just makes it makes it different. You know, it's not just off feel. You actually get live numbers back to you. Thanks, TJ. So, what's going on outside the pro world? I'll take you there next. I sit down with Rim Lau. He's a Twitch streamer. He hosts his own tournaments online. Now, I'm not talking about professional or even a high level of amateur. This is recreational play. It's happening across the world currently. Online matches, even cash matches. What's happening? What's unfolding? This is new. This is totally new. Never been seen before, really, if you think about it. In all the history of mankind, we haven't seen physical competition like this from two remote locations. Very interesting. Let's dive into it. Let's welcome our next guest. You know, both Mr. positions Rimla. from white and black. Here, I can see it a little bit of the footage there in the background. Uh, that's really cool. It looks like you have three or four competitors going at it live on a common course, and then you're the broadcaster. You're covering the event. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So the first event was a match play event with uh, PEI, and then we went to uh, Glen Abbey in uh, Ontario, where it was made famous by Tiger Woods uh, 18... 18 old shot at the at the dawn and uh the final was at um at, at le bic which is a nice really nice course right on uh, the saint lawrence river in uh you know more the the, the eastern part of the province uh so we have that and uh, yeah it was fun um boy it's it's so much fun as you know as a player as a broadcaster um uh, what would you say to someone that's just kind of getting into the market or maybe not even in the market yet, but they've, they're on the fence, you know? Um, give me a scale of one to 10. How does it compare to real golf and how much fun and enjoy, enjoyment do you receive out of it? Okay, so it's, it's a really cool question. Uh, so for fun, 10 out of 10. Like, I mean, I'm having buddies here uh, Friday night. We're having beers and we're just freaking playing TPC Sawgrass or the Master or Bend and Dunes or local courses. Like, we got over 800 or close to 800 course now on GS Pro. More discussions in a full episode like podcast material. This was just an intro to show you what the show's about. If you enjoyed it, you want to see more content like this, let us know in the comments, like, and subscribe. If you're into the market and have questions, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. And as always, keep hitting them straight and God bless.